Barbara from South Houston has a question about production builders. Yeah, she's finding some variants in them, and then she's finding some things that are very much the same with all of them. Barbara writes, after a while, they all look alike. Everything is open concept. The walls have this flattened stucco look that I don't like, but they won't leave it off. Even if they say they'll customize, they won't customize there. So how do you pick the better of these builders, Tom, one you can trust? What's your advice for just sorting through the production builders to find a good one? Well, th what they're doing is they're building generic homes that are popular today. And so you don't get a customized floor plan and stuff. You have to pick from their, their stuff that right. they're selling. Yeah. That, that's all. And you can't say they're a bad builder just because they won't keep the texture different or right. anything. Right. That has nothing to do with the quality of the house. So they're all competing in that same market. And if you're buying a production home, it's like buying a car. You, you, you might be able to pick a color, but right. they all got the same interior. They all have the same stuff because that's the way things are designed. So... If it's a production home, it's a production home. And if that's what you're buying, that's what you're going to get. If you want a custom home, then you have to go to one builder who does one home at a time mm -hmm. and does exactly what you want. And you start with an architect who designs the home with the texture that you want. It's all spec'd out on the specifications. And then it's given to the builder who's going to build it exactly as the architect designed it. And I think that's where she's missing the boat is right. she wants a super custom home from a production well, builder, I, I and think, it's not going to happen. I, I think she's, she understands the the, the vagaries of, of having to choose a, a production builder. Yeah. I guess what she's wondering is, is there – how would you – assess the skill level of one versus the other? Are they all... They're, they're all the same, and it has a lot to do with the superintendent and what okay. crews are using that day. Right. You can get a good one, you can get a bad one. Well, that's one. true, because one and production... they're huge. Yeah, one production builder may be using... two More more than one production builder may be using the same crew to do. I mean, because they won't use the same. They'll use many. They're just going to keep what I'm saying. moving, moving, like, moving. Like, like, like Bob the painter mm -hmm. may be working for Builder A and Builder B. Oh, and, absolutely. And all oh, that. Oh, yeah. There's so, bigger yeah. the better. So really, know? is the, the thing that, that separates them, like you say, is then the superintendent that's watching that job. It really is. And and I can't tell you how to how to get to uh, oh, assess a superintendent from just talking to him one day because he only has so much power, too. So when you're getting a production home, you're buying a production home. Right. That's all there is to it, and it's a little bit of a gamble. People do it all the time. The, the way they're built today is much better than when they were built in the 80s True when that. the production builders started out. But as far as that goes, they're all the same. <laughs> they really are the same. Let, let me throw let me throw a curveball in for a second. Barbara's looking at production builders. She wants to buy a new home. Yeah. Is there, like, with a car, you know, like you were saying, before you buy a car, you have to buy what's there or what's available. Mm -hmm. With, But once you buy that how, car, you roll it off the lot, it loses 30% of its value. Is it the same thing, a new house versus a used house? Can you buy a, a second home, you know, some be the second owner of a production home and get a better deal on it no. than the first person? It doesn't work that way. No, no. Okay. but if you buy an older home, like I've always lived in homes built in the 70s right? because I like the, the era when that was done here because of the quality of the building, uh, and you'll keep it for a long period of time, right. and you're in one of those neighborhoods that you can't build in no, because that's... they're already built out, right? and they have the trees and the school district and all this. You're always going to make money. That's a, that's a good thing you, you touched on right there, mm -hmm. is that when you're buying a production home, don't be the first one in the subdivision. Oh, no. And you're never going to be the last. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who's going to be the last. Last buys the uh, the, the model home. It <laughs> may be so. Right. But as long as someone can build a new one in the neighborhood, as opposed to buying an older one, say, uh, Section 1, Section 2, Section 3. Exactly. You're never going to get your money back. So I would stay out of all these subdivisions if it was me. I would never buy a home, and I never have, and I'm 61 years old now, and I've owned a lot of homes. I've always bought them in established neighborhoods. Always. I have never bought in a new gated community kind of thing or however you want to look at it. And it's You're just going to lose money. All right. So she's not. it's not a matter of saving money if you buy a, a new production home versus a home that's already been lived in then. You're not going to yeah. – there's no financial difference there. No. No, except if you buy in a neighborhood that has proven itself right. over 30 years right. or so on, then you're going to have return on your dollar. And you'll be able to get out. Whereas, yeah. Okay. So people so, want to be in the neighborhood. Something to keep in mind, Barbara. Okay. All right. You got a question? We'd be happy to uh, beat it to death like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go ahead and send it to us. Just visit homeshowradio.com and click on the Ask Tom button. Then Magical Elves Behind the Scene will route your question to me and Tom, and we'll answer them Ding. in one of these upcoming videos.